Here you see a remote control with an integrated glass-based solar cell that is currently available on the market. After placing the glass-based solar cell in a controlled light environment, we connect the solar cell to the multimeter and prepare for measurement. This demonstration is performed at 200 lux, which is equivalent to a dim room, and 3.7 volts, which is the nominal voltage for conventional lithium-ion batteries. This is to simulate typical conditions for product use. Measurement over 30 seconds allows us to find the average milliamp over time. The result is 0.011 milliamps. We now measure the glass-based solar cell as it is fully integrated into the product. As these solar cells are thick and made of glass, they require an additional plastic protector, which makes integration more difficult, more expensive, and results in a major power drop from 0.011 milliamps to 0.0056 milliamps, a power loss of 49%. Now we will measure the power foil solar cell in the same conditions with 200 lux and 3.7 volts over 30 seconds and including the electronics between power foil and battery. Because we are measuring different size cells in this demonstration, it's important not to compare the power density numbers, but rather the difference in power before and after product integration. The result is 0.04 milliamps. And here we measure power foil after integration. This product is shown using a thin frame. Together with flush integration, these two methods have virtually identical results on performance. Because power foil solar cells are thin, flexible, and very durable, they can be part of the plastic body itself, rather than under it, exposing power foil to as much light as possible. The result after integration is 0.039 milliamps, equivalent to a power loss of only 2%. Not only is it easy and inexpensive to integrate, but PowerFoil will also give the most power after integration. 